Hey y'all, it's Charity and I'm here to share a new part of my sublimation journey with you guys. So today this will pretty much be a Learn With Me featuring Eris starring Cricut Infusible Ink Blanks, um, particularly the mug. Like, oh, so do it the other way. I'm just gonna have to like show out. So we have now to this do this is the way we need to do it right here. Eris's mix up is a reminder to you guys out there the same sublimation principles apply no matter what. So, by that, I'm saying you mirror your image, you also have your image touching directly to your blank in the areas where you would like it to print. So nothing like that changes. I'm using sublimation, well, heat tape, not sublimation tape, but heat tape. I designed a template. I printed it, like I said, mirrored. And I'm just trying to get my image as tight as possible because I was in such a rush. I did not get the shrink wrap and all of that stuff. So I'm using a contour technique where I am. It's also similar to wrapping presents. I am just basically fitting my image to the shape of my cup. And I'm going about doing that with tape and my scissors to create little slits. Uh, I apologize, but my um, application technique wasn't always in frame. So I'm going to get to a point to where you can kind of see what I'm doing and it's slowed down for you to understand. I do that to both top and bottom before I put it in the oven and tape on the edges. Yesterday, I really was um, thinking more vertical and I'm gonna start back with that. So it covers a couple, a couple of those. I'm just gonna lay those down and kind of pinch it. So that gets it pretty, pretty good and flat. The same thing, and like I said, I just took a lot of I did this cutting in advance because that takes a lot of time unless you have one of those dispensers. Same thing. I'm sure Iris could probably do this. Or did I have it already cut? I'm actually going to try to get more out of this one little piece. So right, right up next to it. Take them at the same time. Keep, keep, keep. So I'm gonna keep, keep, keep. Okay, this brings me to my next point. Maybe you were like me and scored an oven for Black Friday or whatever. But this is something super important in relation to baking items. You are not able to use your regular home oven. You're going to have to have a separate oven for your sublimation projects. This particular oven can be an air fryer. Um, there are several different things that I've seen used. My oven is an air fryer, but the key is it has a convection bake setting. That's important. So if you're not getting a convection oven, the oven of choice needs to have a convection oven setting. And once you use it for sublimation, you are not able to use it for food um, because sublimation is a gas. It's a chemical reaction. It's not good for food. So trust me when I say don't use it.
Fun fact about how we got here, I scored a air fryer oven situation that I learned could work for sublimation. So I purchased it and when it got here, I literally had no blanks or anything to do sublimation with. That's why I'm doing this gift wrap contour technique because I'm a work with what I got girl. Um, also, I was looking for several videos to let me know just directly if Cricut blanks are just to be used for sublimation um, versus using like inks. I mean, what do they have? Papers. I don't know. Whatever their technology is, because I really haven't gotten to that because I prefer sublimation, no limits, etc. But in this instance, I needed what I needed really quickly. And in my mind, Cricut Infusible Ink Line and sublimation are totally synonymous but I couldn't find a video doing exactly what I was trying to do, which is just using Cricut blanks for sublimation instead of a mug press review or something like that. I couldn't find exactly what I was looking for, but I knew I was going to try it out anyways. So because I couldn't find it, I wanted to share that with you guys. Also, you're not able as of now to just walk in and grab shrink shrinky dink is what i call it but the white shrink stuff that people use shrink wrap i want to say that but i also think of cellophane so i don't want to say the wrong thing but the shrink wrap that you do use for sublimation would make this so much easier because it would do all of this contouring for you but again if you have to work with what you have available this method will work also, in my designing, because this is my second attempt at a cup like this, um, with the bottom half, because it was kind of curved, I did make sure that my design faded into white so that I won't have any issues. The first cup that I did was for my husband. It was a Lakers cup, and there were some issues with pressure towards the bottom. So I just decided to eliminate all of that and make my image fade to white so what you're seeing here is pretty much my attempt of doing the same thing that i did on top which on top perfect seamless one thing that i might do in the future is just shorten my design all together so that i can tape tape it around the tape my image around the width without having to do any of the bottom contouring Thank you, baby. So now we have both of our cups wrapped. And this is plugged up. I'll cut Yummy. it. Um, this piece of tape got to be like this. On. Then yeah. I have to do another piece of tape for like I love cut that. Cut it on. I need a new piece of tape for I love that. Okay. Cut it on, Ayers. Okay. Then hit convection bake. Yep. And then make it 285. Up. You're going down. Touch it on the up. 85. 85. Up. Keep going up. One more. All right. And down here at the time, take it to seven. Start, yeah. The triangle. Mm -hmm. So it's preheating. And I'm gonna make another one. This one is Lux's cup. And that one is mine, you know. This one is what we're here for, the cricket mug. 
Also, guys, of course, branding. Cricut wants you to know it's their mug, even if you're a customer. So this is not ideal for uh, retail, but yep, put it right here. This is where, this is where you're visible. This is what we have. Okay, start ripping it. Keep going. This is what we have so far. It looks good on the feet. You said what? It looks good on the feet. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. So this is the Spider-Man. I'm going to do the same thing. This is probably, what, like I said, this is what scorched it. Yeah. I see some of my name. I see my name. I'm going to start just trying to... I'm, I'm going for it right now. I'm going for it. Right, girl. Yo, we. This is gonna be a good cup. Is it? Yes. <laughs> Look. Okay, keep it going. Reveal it. So I thought you would do a good job revealing it. Oh my! Nobody see this. It's a surprise. Okay, nobody see this surprise. Okay, keep it. Keep revealing. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I just ripped up the off. Oh, baby. Oh, my God. Don't you know this right now? Look at the princess. Mm, this is. It's looking so good right now. Mommy, I'm going for it. Mommy, look, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm going to go for it, too. Yeah. I'm in front of you. I'm Here I am. Nobody see my princess head. Oh, oh, oh. So this is yeah. right in. Look, this is going to be so surprised. Oh, look what we're doing, Lux. What is this? It's Spidey. 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 Actually, pretty good if you ask me. I wash that baby off, and you can get to it. Eric, how's it going? Really? I'm done. 
This is the arrow. Oh, wow. Wait, you can't see it. Wait, wait, wait. Let me help you. This is the arrow's cup. We add my name. My name is spelled H-E-I-R-E-S-S. -S. And I love all of the Disney princesses, so I couldn't, like, do one of them or two. So I just went for, like, all of them almost. And since it's almost Christmas, that's why they're in a Christmas clothes mm -hmm. and all that. Can I could name, like, all of these? Can you know, like... Okay, you don't have to name them all. We're just showing them our cup. This is our cricket cup. That's my own. And I actually like this so much, I gave Mommy 1,052,500 points. 1,052,500 points. So perfect for a hot cocoa. And I was a hot cocoa. Hot cocoa. And you see how I did with my template? Pretty much lined it up. Where it fades, where the handle is. Yeah, but this is actually even better than my old one now. Yep, so Elsa on the cup, scram. <laughs> okay, y'all have a good one.